Good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honour and pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. The graduation weeks are the most important events in our university's calendar. It is, of course, the time when we celebrate and recognise formally the magnificent achievements and the hard work of our graduates. Importantly, it is also the time when we have the privilege and the pleasure to, hold, to host the families and friends of our graduates. An especially warm welcome to you all and also to the families and friends who may be watching this ceremony on their live webcast. We are absolutely delighted you're here today and we hope you enjoy our hospitality and have a wonderful day. I want to thank you on behalf of the university for all the help, support and encouragement you've given our graduates. We know how important this has been in their success, which we are celebrating here today. I'm sure that our graduates will also wish to acknowledge this here today. So graduates, please stand up, face your families and friends, and join me and my colleagues in showing our appreciation of all they've done for you. Like all of us, you can be extremely proud of what our, our graduates have achieved. Those of you who are graduating here today, when you decided to study at this university, you chose to make a major investment in your future. You came to a university which is one of the finest in the world, a university that wants to get even better, to reach the very highest tiers of education and innovation. At the very core of this vision is a major investment in best people, in new buildings and facilities, coupled with a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship, as demonstrated by the graduates here in the hall today. That this vision is realistic and attainable has been amply demonstrated in many recent major achievements, award of Nobel Prizes to our scientists, award of Regius Chairs, a number of Queen's Awards, significant major grants for new projects and development of new facilities. I could go on, but we at Manchester realize that it is important for us to play a wider role in our communities, both nationally and globally. Our ambition is to make the University of Manchester a force for the good by bringing knowledge to bear on the great issues facing the world in the 21st century and by producing graduates that are prepared to exercise social leadership and environmental responsibility. Not just fine words, but real purpose and ambition. Let me give you a few examples of what we have been doing locally. Our fi over 5,000 of our students volunteer annually, primarily to assist our local communities here in Manchester. Over 250 of our staff and alumni are volunteer school governors, using their knowledge and expertise to help the children in those schools. Our initiative has resulted in the fastest growth in the number of volunteer school governors and won the Queen's Award for volunteering. Our equity and merit scholarships, funded partly by our alumni, allow academically able but economically disadvantaged students from some of the world's poorest countries to study at Manchester University without any cost to them. This program has helped over 150 students from Uganda, Rwanda and Bangladesh to study here. Finally, our Manchester Work Scheme every year helps nearly 400 unemployed people from our local communities to gain vital experience and skills and get into employment. But this university is more than just the buildings and facilities. It's also more than just a roll call of fine ambitions and achievements. It is about people. It is our students and our staff, our people who make this place special. Each and every one of you, in your own way, has enriched, shaped, and molded this university to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. So today is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as it is for the success in your academic studies. And I have to add at this point that with 160 nationalities on the campus, the University of Manchester is a truly global institution and one which will rightly remain so, valuing all its staff, students and alumni, including those from Europe and elsewhere in the world. 
Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. But you should also realize that this is not the end of your association with the university. You are part of the family that is this university. Our doors will always be open to you and your families. This will always be your university. The Alumni Association will help you remain in touch with the university and importantly link you with a community of hundreds of thousands of Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can help the university and future students in many ways. You are, of course, our best ambassadors. You can help future students with placements and employment, and importantly, you can play a direct role in the development of the university, which is vital to its future. I'd like to finish by saying that my colleagues and I consider it great honor to be involved in the education of people of all generations and from all parts of the world. Thank you for giving us the privilege of playing a significant role in your education. On behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievement, and I wish you every success in your future careers. Leave here, with to, leave here today with justified pride in what you've achieved. Be a credit to yourselves, to your families and friends, to the communities in which you live and work, to your chosen professions and to your university. Thank you. I'd like to now in invite Professor Coulthard followed by Professor Caulfield to address the ceremony. I should add that it's a special day for Professor Coulthard because his daughter is graduating here today. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm Paul Coulthard and I've been Dean of the School of Dentistry for the past five years. I'm Professor of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery and I spend time at Manchester Royal Infirmary and the University Dental Hospital. I've recently taken on a wider leadership role here at the University as Head of the School of Medical Sciences. So this is the last graduation ceremony which I shall speak for the School of Dentistry. As you've also heard, it's also a special privilege for me today and I'm also here as a parent. It is my pleasure to welcome you all, the graduates of the School of Dentistry in particular, and also your families and friends. You'll be hearing from Professor Caulfield shortly on behalf of the Manchester Medical School. The School of Dentistry has a rich and wonderful history, started awarding degrees back in 1885. Our whole purpose is to improve oral and craniofacial health, both locally and globally. We do this through our education and through our research. We offer a BDS degree and we're the first school to offer a BSc in oral health sciences. In postgraduate education, we offer a wide variety of masters and doctorate programs. Some of these are in science and some incorporate clinical specialist training. Many of our graduates and postgraduates have gone on to senior leadership positions around the world. We produce graduates who are future leaders delivering whole patient care, who are scientists, scholars, and critical thinkers. Our students have excellent clinical and communication skills, and they understand how to integrate science and clinical practice. Many graduates choose to work in general or specialist practice, and do so offering high quality care based on the best research evidence. Evidence-based practice permeates everything that we do here at Manchester. Others develop a love for investigation and follow a career in research. The Chief Dental Officer for England, Sarah Hurley, is an honorary professor with our dental school. Sarah works with researchers in health technology and evidence synthesis and brings her expertise in strategy and health policy. Last year, we hosted a think tank with all four Chief Dental Officers for the UK. They met with our researchers to ensure their policy development was informed by the latest research. When the last government assessment of university research took place, we did exceptionally well. We were combined with some other areas of health for the assessment, so there were 94 groupings, including dentistry, in the UK competition. Of the 94 groupings, we were ranked first. Our research extends from understanding the development of the mouth and face to biomaterials and large clinical trials. We hold a £60 million grant for the largest ever cleft lip and palate research programme in the world. 
We undertake huge clinical trials investigating fluoridation, referral systems, and many of the areas of clinical practice. We host the world-renowned Cochrane Oral Health Group that produces high-quality reviews to answer important clinical questions. You have had the privilege of learning in this world-class, research-informed teaching environment. We have a very strong international reputation. We have formal relationships with the University of Boston, NYU, Nippon Dental University, Hong Kong University, Seoul National University, and the University of Sao Paulo. We're currently in the middle of a two-week visit of students and staff from the University of Boston and Nippon University in Japan. We're also supporting a School of Dentistry in Egypt as part of our social responsibility mission. You are extraordinary people in every way, amazing organizers and leaders, excelling in sports and music alongside your studies, wonderful ball and party organizers. The Dentman Global Health Initiative provides a platform to support global, ex global volunteering and exchange, and many of you have participated in this exciting program. You have extraordinary parents and families who have supported you throughout the years, emotionally and financially. Trust me, like your parents, you're as excited as I am about today. I trust you appreciate the support that they've given you. University education is a huge privilege and offers huge opportunity. It changes your life and makes you see the world differently. You work hard, you also have fun and make lots of friends. The supportive friendships and relationships that you've forged here are likely to be sustained for many years to come. As you've heard, you are now formally members of the university alumni. Uh, most of you have already joined Samanda, the dental school alumni, through its Facebook page, and I hope that you all plan to attend the event and dinner for the 5th of next April so we can all meet up again. Congratulations from the School of Dentistry on achieving your success. You will be our ambassadors from around the world. You have the ability to make a difference in the world by improving the quality of patients' lives through your care or through your research. Many congratulations. Thank you. And now we have the affirmation. I would like to invite all dentists and dental care professional graduates to stand for the affirmation. So I'm going to read statements and ask that you say, I so affirm, after each. I will make the care of my patients my first concern. I so affirm. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patient dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way they can understand. Respect the rights of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit for practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a dentist or dental care professional. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. Thank you. Please take your seats.
Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Reza Vahid Utsari. And for the degree of Master of Dental Public Health part-time in Dental Public Health, Jenny Louise Gray. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science in Restorative and Aesthetic Dentistry, Reem Ahmed Al Shaiba. Hussein Ali Al Wakil, <laughs> Hussein Ayman Al Zobaydai, <laughs> Leila Atassi, <laughs> Ronayot Chintana. Jagdeep Singh Deogan. <laughs> Olympia Dizindiziela. <laughs> Amr Abdel Razek El Shah Zaili. <laughs> Mubashra Farooq. Nicholas Paul Fleming. <laughs> Jane Victoria Gosney. <laughs> Leonard Iso Copt to Palal Il. <laughs> Lara Hill Creek. Durga Bingade Lend. <laughs> Anjali Mahotra. <laughs> Carla Josephine McCann. <laughs> Julie McRae. Michael So Fung Mew. <laughs> Ashraf Peer. <laughs> Karen Alice Pinto. <laughs> Janet Mary Power. Mark Pegson. <laughs> Sophie Alicia Ledger. <laughs> Divya Jaminda. <laughs> Daniela Narina Sturk. Tak Shun Dustin Wei. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery with Honours, Madeline Ball. <laughs> Roxana Sarmin Begum. Hazel Anne Louise Kerr. And also being awarded the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, 
Mohammed Ismail Khalil. Regine Lewis. <laughs> Olivia Mills. <laughs> Anastasia Salk. <laughs> Daniel Patrick Watson. And for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Aina Agawal. <laughs> Serena Amin. <laughs> Abdullah Ashraf. <laughs> Anissa Ashraf. Amina, Amina Awan. <laughs> Stephanie Azmi. <laughs> Matthew Baker. <laughs> Rory Barr. Hannah Louise Barrow. <laughs> Samir Bashir. <laughs> Toby Beale. <laughs> Aisha Bibi. Thomas Peter Bradshaw. <laughs> Shabri Shandarana. <laughs> Anna Jane Charnley. <laughs> Francesca Piercy Coulthard. Rahul Doegar. <laughs> Catherine Sarah Dumont Jones. <laughs> Amy Ellis. <laughs> Rachel Fitzpatrick. Isabel Grace Forshaw. <laughs> Cyber Garfour. <laughs> Joseph Greenwell Cohen. <laughs> Annie Sarah Haddon. Arushe Anur Hamid. <laughs> Benedict Harrison. <laughs> Sophia Hashmi. <laughs> Valid Hassoun. Abigail Fleur Higginbottom. <laughs> Blythe Alice Hodgson Parnell.
Francesca Ann Hughes. Leon Reese Hughes. Charis Hussein. Imania Khan. Jessica Elliott Lamb. Nicholas James Lothbury. Calvin Manak. Emily Ann McConnell. Ikra Nasir. Salea Ugrada. Jaina Patel. Jui Patel. Owen Patrick Power. Charles Harry Quayle. Daniel Harry Rubinovitz. Sean Lloyd Roberts. Aksa Sejad. Rajdeep Sandhu. Katsuri Sathanan Anthan. Zara Katie Elise Tom. Amir Trafi. Samuel Wadsworth. Charlotte Walsh. Oliver Wiley. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Oral Health Science with Honours, Chelsea Lee Watson. <laughs> Hannah Abbas Mohammed. <laughs> Holly Jones Farley. Jade Tan. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Oral Health Science, Louise Charlotte Chambers. <laughs> Success Osagi. And for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Ms. Bah Mania. Hello. My name is Doug. 
uh, Caulfield. I'm um, Professor of Medical Sciences and Head of the MBCHB program within the School of Medical Sciences. It's my pleasure to add to the welcome from Professor Nail Nailin Thacker, Associate Vice President of the University, to all of you. In this part of the ceremony, we celebrate the achievements of our graduates who have completed their medical degree. I have been a part of Manchester Medical School for over seven years, and therefore I have been delighted to see our graduates progress from the day that they started at Manchester until today. And I can say, say what a change we have seen in all of you as you've developed into fine young medical professionals. Of course, if this were the Christmas panto, then I might not be saying the same thing. I'd also like to say what a pleasure it was to celebrate with so many of you at your graduation ball on Saturday. A special thanks must go to the student organizers, Zoe Arnott and Daniela Kudner, um, who made it such a successful event and at such a busy time of year for, for them too. <laughs> the university was established in 1824. However, medical education in Manchester predates this by some 70 years, when in 1752, the new Manchester Royal Infirmary took its first students. The Manchester School of Medicine itself was officially opened in 1874, and in 1883, we were granted our charter to award the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. This is therefore the 135th cohort of doctors to graduate with the MBCHB from Manchester. It was in the 1950s that Lord Stopford, a medical graduate of the university and professor of Man uh, anatomy at the age of 31 and subsequently Dean of Medicine and later Vice Chancellor, who defined both the vision of producing clinically excellent young doctors that still drives us forward. He also established the liberal educational principles that make the school, our program, and our graduates respected across the world. By 1973, when the building that bears Lord Stopford's name was opened, the school admitted 200 medical students into its first year and a further 70 students from the University of St Andrews into its clinical years. We now graduate the largest cohort of medical students in the UK. We should remember that our first female graduate was Dr. Catherine Chisholm, who entered medicine in 1898. And I quote, after considerable resistance from the male medical students. She graduated in 1904 and worked as a children's physician. Fortunately, we have come a long way over the last 120 years. We now graduate over 400 doctors a year with an equal proportion of women to men. We are also proud that our graduates are drawn from diverse social and cultural backgrounds. Most will come from backgrounds that have no historical connection with medicine, and some will be the first in their families to study at university. Our excellent collaboration with the University of St Andrews continues today. Indeed, many of those graduating today will have spent the first three years of their Manchester medical education at St Andrews. I would also like to recognize that some of the graduates today have taken the European option, a special feature of our medical course, which has enabled those students to utilize their language skills and do some of their training in a European center. Long may that continue. One of the recognized strengths of our medical course is that in years three to five, our students are completely immersed in the NHS under the guidance of our education teams led by our hospital dean at four teaching hospitals across Greater Manchester and Lancaster. In this particular ceremony, we are marking the achievement of students who undertook an additional year as part of their program to complete an intercalated degree at the University of Manchester in a subject area of their choice. The intercalated degree offers all a fantastic opportunity to study an area of personal interest in great depth, and for many, the subject of their intercalation studies will become the foundation of their future practice. These are students who by hard work and determination will be graduating from one of the most relevant medical education programs in the UK. We are extremely proud of their achievements, as I'm sure are you, their relatives and friends, and therefore, it seems only fitting that we and you should take this opportunity to applaud them in recognition of their achievements. Can I ask our medical graduates to stand and can I ask their friends and families, please do give them applause.
But their achievements are not theirs alone. The position that our graduates have reached today could not be achieved without support. The medical school has given them the opportunity to develop as clinicians and scholars of medicine, but they owe a huge amount to you, their families and friends, for the enduring support you provide and the role you have played, not only in their education, but their development as caring physicians. So let me address now, in particular, the graduates. Learning is not a one-way process. We learn from you, we have developed a relationship with you, and we take huge pride in your achievements. Those of us on the stage and in the hall today represent the, all the educators across the NHS and the university whose lives you have touched. We want to congratulate all of you and thank you for your contributions to Manchester Medical School. You have performed to the highest academic standards, you have inspired other students through your extracurricular societies and activities, and you have undertaken remarkable work during your personal excellence pathways, and in some cases presented this work at national and international meetings. It is your drive to do great things that marks you out as Manchester graduates, and I do hope you will continue to achieve great things as you progress in your medical careers. Above all, it is important for you to know as you enter medical practice that in keeping with Lord Stopford's vision and as a particular mark of a Manchester medical education, you will be amongst those graduates best prepared for working in today's NHS and best able to adapt to the ever-changing landmark of NHS care. Finally, I want to offer you all my very best wishes for your future careers and to recognize that you've all been equipped with the skills to be leaders in your chosen area of clinical practice. It is a privilege to be a medical practitioner, and I hope during your career that you can embrace and relish this privilege. Now, like the dentists, I will now ask our graduates in medicine to, um, to um, swear their affirmation. Because medicine is never the same as dentistry, we can't agree on everything, I'm gonna do it in a slightly different way. I'm going to read it out, and I'm gonna ask you to repeat phrase by phrase what I've said. So to begin with, can I ask you to rise? You're a small number in a large hall, so I expect to hear your strong, protecting voices. Raise your hands and say after me, I affirm that I will. Make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way they can understand. Respect the rights of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Protect and protect Make sure my personal beliefs Do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk. If I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a doctor. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I so affirm. I so affirm. Thank you.
Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Distinction, and Master of Research in Oncology, Raisa Rahi. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Distinction, and Master of Research in Cardiovascular Health and Disease, Ahak Ahmed Mann. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, and Master of Arts in Humanitarianism and Conflict Response, Fraser Brooks. <laughs> James Robb. James Robb. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Public Health, Joshua Stephen Adams. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Research Cardiovascular Health and Disease, Samuel Jack Heward. Fatima Nadim. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Masters of Research in Medical Sciences, Chloe Jade Ashton. <laughs> Nina Faye Malichik. Arjun Dayal Prem Dayal. <laughs> Joseph Alexander Walker. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Honours with Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Research in Oncology, Kathleen Connors. Mosfera Shaquille. <laughs> Alexander John Peter Fulton. <laughs> Alfred Chung Pui So. Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Research in Reproduction and Pregnancy, Freya Patricia Mahon Daly. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Research in Tissue Engineering for Regenerative Medicine, Carl Chopra. Mohammed Istakar Hussein. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, and Master of Science in Healthcare Ethics and Law, Florence Camilla Rose Ilston. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours and Master of Science in Neuroimaging, Neuroimaging for Clinical and Cognitive Neuroscience, Mark Harrison. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with European Studies and Master of Arts in Humanitarianism and Conflict Response, Genevieve Forbes. Aditya Jaivdev. Yeah. 
Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with European Studies, and Master of Research in Translational Medicine, Audrey Le Bihan. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with European Studies, and Master of Science in Healthcare, Ethics and Law, Jack Burgess. Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with European Studies, and Master of Science in Medical Virology, Geraldine Scullin. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Arts in Humanitarianism and Conflict Response, Joanna Balmforth. <laughs> Arya Rahim. Yasmin Buatia. <laughs> Rebecca Clayton. <laughs> Jennifer Hope Rossiter. <laughs> Joseph David Watson. Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Masters of Public Health, Neil Gardia. <laughs> Mohammed Farhan Shahid. <laughs> Kushru Shah Malek. Victoria Mayers. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Research in Cardiovascular Health and Disease, Dawan Kwon. <laughs> Lucy Georgia Muscata Story. Joshua Rowland. <laughs> Hiran Sitpura. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Research in Medical Sciences, Vikram Puri. Junaid Mohammed Amir. <laughs> Olivia Louise Horton. <laughs> Nadim Iqbal Jamal. <laughs> Akshay Bahrat Lad. Emma Karen Nolan. <laughs> Andre Jonathan Alexander Kieran Simmons. <laughs> Abby Lee Huckle. Ahmad Daniel Kamar Lodi. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Research in Oncology, Edward Chilodili. <laughs> Fiona Walker. Megan Whitehead. <laughs> Muhammad Anz. <laughs> Ali
Haseem Raja. For the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Research in Tissue Engineering for Regenerative Medicine, Umair Khan. <laughs> Saqib Alim Ashraf. <laughs> Ekemini Ekpo. Sylvian Zhu Ta Yan Tan. <laughs> Mohammed Rais Ashraf. <laughs> Amar Razak. For the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Research in Translational Medicine, Esther Simil Iolowa Ayelaus. <laughs> Vasudev Arjun Zaver. <laughs> Mohammed. Afiki Chowdhury. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Science in Genomic Medicine, Badria Al Khatib. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Science in Healthcare Ethics and Law, Kay Starkley. <laughs> Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery and Master of Research in Investigative Ophthalmology and Vision Science, Lava Nozad. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery and Master of Science in Medical Humanities, Shanath Ramachandran. Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Science in Medical Microbiology, Samuel James Hay. <laughs> for the Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Master of Science in Neuroimaging for Clinical and Cognitive Neuroscience, Michael Oluwafemi Adelaye. For the Bachelor of Science in Management and Innovation in Healthcare, with honors, Nikita Margaret John. <laughs> Benjamin Thomas Jowett. <laughs> Scott Martin. Osak Pamwan Otabor. <laughs> Oliver Page. <laughs> Pathology, which includes intercalating MBCHB and BDS students with honors. Brochure Albert Good. Ryan Scott Hemming. <laughs> Thank you. For Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and Masters of Public Health, Sufyan Patel. Congratulations, you're now graduates of this great university. So please stand, put on your graduation hats.
Please remain standing because there's one group of people you haven't thanked and they've played such an important role in getting you to this day and that's the staff of this university. So will you please join me in thanking the staff of this university. Very many congratulations from all of us today, and we wish you every success in your future lives and careers. We hope you have had a, enjoyed the ceremony and enjoyed our hospitality. We hope you have a wonderful day and a safe journey home. I declare the ceremony closed. <laughs>